Hey everyone, Carla here from Documenting the Journey. Today I am filming in a different location. I am filming in my chair next to my window. So I am still in my Hobonichi cousin. I really like it, but I'm struggling with figuring out what I'm going to do with 2023. Uh, my biggest thing is I just want to use like everything. I have already pre-ordered the wonderland 222 my idea with that was to actually create my own version of the cousin with their weekly and their 365 notebook but then i'm thinking about like how daunting that is going to be to cut off the back cover and to cut off the front cover and to glue them together and to do the book binding tape when i already have the cousin like pre-set up <laughs> Uh, another downside of the Wonderland 222 is I don't have a sidebar. I use my sidebar a lot in every single spread, my monthly and my weekly. And then the other downside of the Wonderland 222 for me is the stacked weekends. I do like, however, that there are built-in monthly trackers already in the Wonderland. And so I'm just really struggling trying to figure out what I'm going to do because the Hobonichi launch is very soon. I am struggling with whether I'm going to get another cousin, if I'm going to get another week's mega. I love everything about the Hobonichi except for all of the color. I absolutely adore the layout of the weekly, or excuse me, of the cousin because it's essentially everything that I need. Those times where I don't feel like I need daily pages, I can use them for journaling. I do keep all of my planners, especially the ones that I have a lot of memory keeping in because I do want my kids to have those at some point to see my process of journaling and just my moments and gratitude and all of the happy things that we had experienced that week. But again, I'm trying to be really good with my finances and I'm trying to, I have very, very large financial goals. And so in order to help our family with supporting that. I'm just not sure if I'm really ready to spend a hundred dollars basically on a week's and a cousin in the shipping from Japan. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I might wait. I don't know. I might wait and just get them off of Amazon, but then the prices are so marked up to cover the cost of shipping. I, I don't know. I have no idea what I'm going to do right now. I am actually really liking the cousin because it's just really working well for me. My kids are going back to school soon. I am also going to be starting work soon. And so I think that with that change, I'm, I might not need the cousin in its fullest capacity to have the daily pages and the space that I have right now. Because basically when I'm working, I, I don't do as much during the day because I'm working. And so I am wondering if just something more simple will be beneficial for me during that season of life. I'm, I'm not really sure what's going to happen, but that is kind of where the weeks falls in because it's more of a task list than it is a, a full like hourly tracked planner. I do love my time blocking, but when we're more busy and the majority of my day is time blocked with work, it just leaves a lot less time for everything, everything else. And so I'm doing a lot of journaling. I'm doing a lot of processing. I'm actually going through a ton of my old planners from pre-Instagram, basically, when I found out about all of these amazing companies. And I'm trying to figure out what worked for me then and what really brought me joy and happiness in just planning without having to show it off. I am definitely planning like nobody is watching, even though I am filming and showing everything. And this is essentially how I would plan even if I didn't have a, you know, YouTube or Instagram account. And so I'm trying to be true to how I actually want to plan and what is working for me at the moment. The hardest part is my moments change. My season of life changes. I need different things during different periods of my life. If I buy another cousin, I think it'll be great for the times where I'm not working and I can actually sit down and enjoy the daily pages set up just like this. I can write my notes. I can do my journaling. I can track my health. I can, you know, track my task list. In addition to all of my gratitude and happy moments, I have plenty of time to do that in the summer because I'm not working. I'm with the kids. 
but during the other seasons of life where I am really busy, I just don't have as much time dedicated to that. I am definitely more less stencil and just quick jotting down pen to paper. So that's usually where my weeks comes in because it's just easier. It's just task list and check boxes. There's not a lot of stenciling. There's not a lot of decorations. There's not stickers. You know, it's a lot quicker and easier. And so that's why I'm thinking I might need to get both. But then of course I've got the Wonderland 222 that I've already pre-ordered. Um, Passion Planner in the past has worked really, really, really well for me as well. And so I've got a lot of options. And of course, Moxie Life is always going to be in my system. It's just a matter of whether it's going to be the full planner or just the companion notebooks. I'm not really sure yet, but lots of options, lots of things to think about. I'd love to know what you guys are thinking about for 2023. So definitely drop them down in the comments. And thank you for hanging out with me today and listening to me ramble. See you later.